Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the AEW Fight Forever video game. And for those of you out there that don't know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, which if you're a wrestling fan, I would assume, especially ones that play video games, I would assume you know of the company of All Elite Wrestling, and I'm assuming, and hopefully, at least hopefully assuming, that you know that there's an AEW video game on the horizon by either the end of this year or early next year. Um, but for those of you that don't know, All Elite Wrestling is a wrestling company. If you're interested in wrestling video games since freaking forever, I'm sure you know that they were getting the game at some point. That's currently announced for the PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series SX, I believe the PC too, I'm not fully sure. So pretty much all three consoles this generation, two of the consoles last generation, and the PC, I believe, so that's, that unlike 2K and WWE, they're actually trying to get it on everything. Um, they've showed a teaser trailer, I believe, last year, um, and they've been showing off what you know screenshots and gameplay snippets of moves and models from you know over the last like couple months to a year or so. We've seen the likes of Darby Allen, Jungle Boy. And freaking like models for like characters like John Moxley and uh, Chris Jericho and whatnot. So they have been showing content over the last year or so since that teaser trailer last year. Various screenshots, various like models being shown off and moves being shown off, and just like in development type stuff that game developers normally do. We know that it's being developed by Ukes, who used to. For all of you wrestling fans out there and gamers out there, do, do all the a lot of WB games, especially back on the you know fourth, especially back on the fifth, sixth, and seventh generation of consoles like WB, 2K, WB, SmackDown vs Raw, SmackDown, all the N64 games that include Aki, which they got a developer from Aki to help them with development of this game, as well as Kenny Omega and numerous AEW wrestlers. Um, so that's an update on essentially what's been shown so far, but we did get a reveal of what essentially the cover looks like, and we did get a initial trailer. And I wanted to give my thoughts on it, because for those of you out there, I mean, as much as I love talking to like if, if people out there who have been paying attention to my channel forever, Two things you could pretty much name about. I am obsessed with Smash Brothers and love doing discussions on that. And I'm a big time wrestling fan, especially in terms of wrestling video games. If you even remotely paid to a bunch of stuff back in the day, because I used to do before CKW, I did stuff like YGWF on the No Mercy game. And I did stuff with my cousin Patrick on uh, PNT Gamers and, two, and Vito on Two Cousins Game and stuff on their channel. And I've discussed numerous wrestling things. And I used to also do wrestling shy, like slideshow type with music over it, like pay-per-view things when I first started my channel. So for those of you who have been paying attention to my channel for a long time, you can tell that I'm a wrestling fan. And wrestling fan, video games. I grew up on SmackDown and No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000 and the Day Reckoning games and SmackDown vs. Raw. Here comes the pain, shut your mouth, all that stuff. I grew up on that stuff. I love wrestling games. So I'm inter I'm always interested in seeing a new wrestling game. It doesn't have to be WB. I mean, I'm looking forward to the AEW game. I'm looking forward to the wrestling code. I'm looking forward to freaking hyperviolence or ultraviolence. It's called ultraviolence, I believe. I love Retromania for being a classic game. And, you know, Wrestling Revolution and all, over the years, a bunch of different wrestling games. I'm always looking forward to seeing new wrestling games come out and especially variety of games. The new Fire Pro World. So, I, obviously, I need to give my two cents on this. Um, when it comes to AEW Fight Forever, you do get to, and even wrestlers like Kenny Omega have come out and said, don't do this because we're not, we shouldn't be compared to him. But a lot of gamers and a lot of wrestling fans and it's a detriment. It's really unfair to really say that. Are comparing it to the 2K games now. Oh, it's not as realistic. It's not as this is. The thing about this is, here's my thoughts on the thing. I'm because here's the thing. They already said from the get go that this wasn't going to be some big major competition, like the exact same thing as the 2K games, which are super realistic and super simulation with some arcade elements here and there mixed into them. This game is like supposed to be like old school wrestling games. Like supposed to be like Here Comes the Pain. It's supposed to be like Shut Your Mouth. It's supposed to be like No Mercy. It's supposed to be like Day of Reckoning. It's supposed to be like the old Ukes games. Which, if you look at the gameplay of the thing, it looks like a Ukes game. When I see it, it 
it looks like the hybrid child of No Mercy, Here Comes the Pain, and Day of Reckoning. Like, all meshed together with an AEW skin. And I think that's cool. I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to it because I want to go back and play something like that without having to go back and play the old games all the time. I love that gameplay scheme. I like, you know, like that style. I love those games. I love it being different. It does not have to be 2K. And I think a lot of people that compare it to and negatively, like, you know, talk down to it about in comparison to that, I think are doing the game an injustice. It's unfair. Because that's not what they're going for. I just love that we're getting more stuff from wrestling games that than just getting W2K every single year. We need variety. There needs to be a wrestling game boom, and it's starting to show. Like AEW, Retromania started that like last year, and then this game, and then Fire Pro came out a few years ago, and then we're getting Wrestling Code, and then we're getting Ultra Violence, and then other stuff's going to come on the way. I'm sure AEW's going to get another game or two or three in the next X amount of years. And there's just, I, I just want more variety. I just want more stuff. Does that mean I think the game looks perfect? No, it's not entirely perfect, but that's also because we have not seen a whole lot of the game yet. That's the, that's the thing. We haven't seen a full-fledged version of the game yet in our faces being detailed modes and stuff we've just heard oh they're gonna do this with a career mode we're gonna do this with this and this is this we've only barely seen gameplay snippets of models and characters fighting and like moves and the mini games which a lot of people are complaining about i think that's cool i i love it that it's not just gonna be a wrestling game and it's not it's gonna offer more stuff to do in fact we've seen those three mini games the one that's like a dance button thing the baseball one and then the money thing i'm hoping there's more than just those three because i would love to see more mini games and more stuff to do on the side on top of doing exhibition matches creating wrestlers and rings and you know entrances and move sets and then doing the career mode and you know something like and online i'm sure the game's going to be online it's more stuff's cool because here this is what i compare it to people are like oh it's becoming mario party no it's becoming pokemon stadium I remember back in the day when I played Pokemon Stadium 1 2 of friends and cousins. If we were not battling each other, we were in that mini game thing doing competitions and mini games constantly all the time. And I find that cool that we're getting stuff like that, that they're giving us more content and more stuff to do. And I think the mini games look fun. I'm actually hoping there's more of them. But yeah, the mini. I, 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 but I can understand where people are coming from. Like, if that's going to take away from the gameplay, that's one thing. But I trust you. See, my thing is, I have faith. And Yukes and Aki and like wrestlers like Kenny Omega and various AEW wrestlers who likely grew up with stuff like me in the late 90s, early 2000s and played No Mercy and played Wrestling 2000 and played Day of Reckoning and played all the Japanese games like Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Which I didn't play that, but I so badly want to. Um, but grew up and know those styles. They're getting literally wrestlers from the company giving them insights on how the game should be. We got developers that have been there, people, and know what they're doing. We got a head from Aki who can give them the Aki touch. So, yeah, I'm just saying, like, is it looking perfect? No, but we're only, I only can say that because we don't fully know much about the game yet. We, they haven't really did a full-fledged gameplay reveal and game mode reveal. We just know they gave us insights on what the career mode is essentially going to do. We know X amount of wrestlers that are going to be in the game, but we don't know the whole roster yet. We know you can create a wrestler in an entrance in a, in a freaking moveset like standard wrestling games can do. Apparently, you can create an arena too, which is awesome. I always like doing stuff, that stuff in recent 2K games. Um... I, I'm just looking forward to it. Gameplay is the, the major reason I'm looking forward to it is the gameplay. That is the major reason. Once they throw in the rest of it and it's a complete package, it's probably going to be way more enticing to me than it already is. But I'm looking forward to it as a wrestling fan, as a gaming fan that likes wrestling games. I'm looking forward to it. Is it 100% perfect? No. But not, not, no game is that perfect. And you, people that say that, look at the W2K games. I love playing them. I, I'm being honest, I love playing them, but they're still more of the same, and that's the reason why I want more games. That's the reason why I want more like fran- like gaming, you know, fight, you know, wrestling game franchises being made, and more competition and more variety because it's just more of the same. Two K twenty two, as awesome as it is, 
has its downfalls. There's stuff in it that I'm not a big fan of. Case in point, probably the showcase mode for Rey Mysterio, which really comes down to licensing, but it was missing so much. And also the fact that the game is still more of the same. They updated it and made it a little more simpler, and it's not a glitch fest like 20, but it still feels like more of the same since 2K15. And I think the WWE games need a fresh coat of paint too. Have some similarities, but then change up some things. And I think it's okay for 22 because that's like the revival year after 2K20 burst in the flames and they skipped 2K21 because of COVID so they could do Battlegrounds. I think it's fine having it be a more basic game, but I'm hoping going forward they do change up more stuff because that's something I look forward to in all the old wrestling games from WWE. Like the SmackDowns never felt the same. The Day Reckonings never felt the same. They all had similarities, but then they updated and jumped and jumped and jumped. But this AEW game... I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I like the minigame aspect. The gameplay looks fine. They just need to make sure the rest of the package is good from creating wrestlers to career mode. And I think we'll have a good, well-rounded product for the first AEW game that they can work on for future games. And I think that's fine. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It just has to be a good starting point that's a good, great game to play and just feels fun to play. And I'm looking forward to it. I have faith that they're going to. That's my thoughts on that. Like... Once we see more of it, I can give more of my insights on it. But as of right now, with the first trailer, the teaser trailer, all the footage stuff they've shown, like entrances and moves, and the pictures they've shown, I'm liking it, and I'm looking forward to it. And I think more people should give this game more of a fair shake than instead of just being negative Nancy's online. And I'm not saying against all complaints, but you know the complaints if you've paid attention to anything about this game over the last especially few weeks. So, that's my thoughts. I'm looking forward to it. And that's about it. Put in the comment section what you guys think. Are you guys looking forward to the AEW Fight Forever video game? Do you love all those old school wrestling video games? Do you like wrestling video games in general? Are you a wrestling fan in general? Put in the comment section if you're interested and looking forward to it. And what are you looking forward to in the AEW game? And since we're talking about wrestling games in general, what are some of your favorite wrestling video games? Put it down there. We can discuss it. Have some fun. My name is Sniping Fun. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you later in the next video. Bye, everybody.